The goal for tonight is to take care of these pieces. What needs to be done on these is cleaning off the flash, not only around the edges, but also on the back. These were all pieces that were poured in open face molds, which means the back is the only area that needs work to be done. There's a couple ways to handle this. I could just take sandpaper and move this around like this, but I find that I tend to get a very uneven, like a domed feature when I do that. So I'm gonna use my belt sander. Uh, that can be challenging because you can very quickly and easily go too far and knock down part of it too much. So just gotta be careful. While I've got the belt sander out, I'm also gonna sand the flash off these parts, which is the front end of the grapple gun. These actually sit at different levels. One's a little higher than the other, so I'm gonna have to stagger it along the belt sander to get that to work. For the smaller pieces like this, I will indeed just be using sandpaper since it should really only require a little bit of work. I'm not too concerned about what the back side looks like. Uh, in fact, the rougher the better as I'm just going to be gluing it onto another surface. I guess I bring that up because I don't need to use like a really fine sandpaper or to polish it down. You'll notice what I'm doing is I'll sand a little bit and then I'll look at how things are going. What I don't want to do is have uneven wear. I want it to be sanded as flat as possible and not have it be sanded down on one side more or on another side more. After a little bit of time on the belt sander, all the parts are done and it's time to move on in the build. The last thing I wanted to show you for tonight is what I'm doing here. I'm getting these pieces ready for primary but what I'm doing is I'm setting them up on top of little pieces of cut up popsicle sticks instead of having them sit flat on the board. The reason I do that is because when I spray these with primer, if it's just sitting straight on here, what will happen is the piece will end up sticking to the board and then when I peel it up it will wreck the edges that I spend so much time primer. So when it's just elevated just a tiny little bit like that, it makes it so the piece won't stick because of it being wet with primer. And what I'm doing to cut up the popsicle sticks is I'm using this tool called the chopper. And what I do is I just put a little piece in there, like that. There's one. There's two. Take these over here. And just like that. So there it is, raised up just a little tiny bit so that the primer won't get underneath it and ruin it. I've recently switched to Duplicolor Scratch Filler Primer, just giving it a try. It seems to be working pretty well so far. And I'm still using the classic spray paint on top of the trash can method, which has served me well for years. And there we have the first coat of primer on the disc. I'm gonna leave this to dry for a little bit and then I'll come in with a couple more coats, but I won't bore you with the details. That's it for now, we'll see you for the next one.